this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this ripple wave beanie. And this hat fits sizes uh, from a three-year-old all the way to an adult. It's very easy to uh, make adjustments to the hat by adding or subtracting rows. Uh, with this one, I only used three different colors, but I have pictures where I used four. It also works very nice. You can also use two if you like, or even just one. Um, but the texture really shows up a lot better uh, if you use three. And um, I, this was the yarn that I used to make this one. As you can see, using uh, several colors, you only use a little bit of each. So you could probably make several hats just out of, you know, the same colors that you use. So I started with the kind of medium color, but you can start with the darker color if you like, or the lightest color. It's up to you. So I think this time I'm gonna start with my, my uh, same color I used before, so not to confuse when you see the hat. And to start, you want to chain, let me get to the pattern here. You wanna chain three. Okay, th this yarn that I'm using is all worst weight yarn. Uh, four ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia. And I'm also using a five millimeter hook or a size H hook. So you wanna grab all the colors that you wanna use in your five millimeter hook and let's get started. Okay, to begin you wanna chain three, slip stitch in that beginning chain, and slip stitch to form a ring. Now to begin with, we want to go right into that center ring that we just made, pull up a loop, and then create a single crochet and chain one. That's going to be our very first stitch. Now working in the ring again, we're going to, we're going to do 11 double crochets. And our single crochet and chain one will be our first stitch, so we should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, slip stitching in the, the chain of our single crochet in chain one, you want to slip stitch into that chain. And then again, you're going to go right back into that first stitch and do a single crochet and chain one. Then go right back into that stitch again and do a double crochet. That's going to be your beginning of round two. We're using the same color. Now we're going to be using the back stitches, what I call the back stitch. Usually, uh, your, your single crochets or all your stitches actually have like two, two pieces of yarn, as you can see. And if I go underneath both loops, you can see. Each stitch has, stupid yarn out of my way, each stitch has two. You can see one and two. We won't be using either of these. What we're going to do is if you could turn to the back, you can see right on, okay, I'm gonna cut this thing. Really getting on my nerves here. Left my real scissors downstairs, I have my kids baby scissors up here with me at the moment so sorry about that anyway what you want to do is if you just look here where your stitch is connected there's a stitch back here it's so it's so difficult to to show you this stitch I had a difficult time before showing um, I know what I can do Okay, I went ahead and I made this um, bigger piece so that you can see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, these are the top stitches that you usually work in. You won't be working in those. If you turn it to the back, you will see that the post of the single crochet, if you separate your stitches, you'll see that's the post of your single crochet. And in the back, there's a little stitch right at the top and you can see that all of them have it see there's one here one here almost looks like a little head and legs 
you're putting it in the head part of it behind the stitch and you can see with my hook inside of it if you look on the front whoops if you look at it the front way you can see I'm not into the stitch either of those stitches and on the back that's the one you'll be going in and you'll be using that stitch throughout Okay. when you get to the beginning uh, row try to find because uh, when you get here you're going to find that you have no more back stitches so it's automatically going to show you that you're at the end of the row um, but as you see when you slip stitch you create kind of a stitch that's always to be ignored always find that first single crochet and chain one and always slip stitch into that chain one at the very beginning just like that and we won't be cutting our uh, our yarn every row we're just going to switch colors and keep our yarn together now my next color is going to be this dark one. Whoops, didn't realize I didn't have my microphone on. Hope you could hear me. I mean, not on, but clipped onto me. So what you want to do is get your next color. And what I do is just kind of fold it in half like this. and I just slip that loop into my last loop color and then I'll grab that color and pull that loop tight just like that so that uh, it holds my new loop firm then you can drop that color and then now uh, you're set to start working with your new color go right back into that stitch I usually move the other color aside I do not work over that color but I'm going to work over my tail of my new color. I'm going to do a single crochet and chain one. You want to do a double crochet into that same stitch. So in your beginning stitch, you have a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet worked into it. Now, working in those back stitches again and working over your tail. So first find that back stitch you're going to be doing a double crochet just one double crochet the next one will be two double crochets worked in the same stitch and then our fighting with my yarn here then the next one will just be one double crochet so you're going to be alternating doing two double crochets worked in one stitch and then one double crochet worked in the next you're going to be increasing uh, every other stitch last row you doubled your number so you had 12 in the middle you should have 24 here in the next row and then this one you should have 36 at the end of this row so continue to work that all the way around till you get back up to the beginning and then slip stitch in the top uh, chain of your single crochet chain one Okay, getting to the end of my row, finding that top chain slip stitching. Now I'm going to introduce my next color. Again, you're not going to cut your yarn. Just going to get my next color. And again, folding it just lightly like this to make my loop here, pulling it through my existing loop and then grabbing that color to tighten my loop. I'll drop it. Now you have your new color. Again, go right back into that stitch, do a single crochet and chain one. And I'm not working over my old color, I'm only working over my, my tail. So again, go right back into that same stitch and do a double crochet. You're not working on the back stitches here. On the very first stitch only, you're just working right into the stitch. Now, uh, our first back stitch is here, and we're going to be doing a double crochet now in the next two stitches. So you'll have two stitches in between your increase. Increase is when you do two stitches in the same stitch, like we just did the first stitch. So we already did our increase. 
now if I can just get this back stitch sometimes it can be hard to find especially if your yarn wants to separate so if you're having difficulty you are not the only one I can tell you that right now sometimes they're just a pain so double crochet in the next stitch in the back part of the stitch and then in the next stitch as well and then you're going to do an increase in this next back stitch so before you did um, two in one stitch and then you did one double crochet and then you did two in the next now you're going to have two in one stitch and then you're going to have a double crochet double crochet and then an increase of two double crochets in the next stitch so then you'll repeat that pattern uh, all the way around next two since you just did an increase will be double crochet double crochet and then the next will be two double crochets continue that all the way around and at the end of this row you should have 48 stitches okay one two three four I'm on after your fourth row and since I'm showing you with only three colors after the fourth row you need to change back to your original color and you still have all three colors attached all you need to do is grab up the next color that you need make sure that your your uh, yarn isn't tangled or anything like that and then you just do like you did before slip stitch into your loop pull the other tight and now you can start working with the new color go right back into that first stitch do a single crochet chain one then from now on uh, well, I should say <laughs> this is going to be the last increase row so you're going to go back into that stitch again and do a double crochet now working in those same stitches in the back you're going to be doing three single double crochets I would say single but I just mean you know just do one one double crochet in the next three stitches and then the next one do an increase and at the end of this row the end of this round since we're working in a circle the end of this round you should have 60 stitches now remember you have single crochet chain one double crochet in the first do a double crochet in the next three stitches and then you'll do an increase now you need to do a one double crochet and it worked in those back stitches behind here one single crochet in the next three stitches then an increase one double crochet in the next three stitches and then an increase so when you get to the end count your stitches you should have 60. okay when you get done with the row was it one two three four five after your fifth row you slip stitch in the beginning uh, chain and you grab the next color up which is the darker color here and again you'll switch colors just like you did before type my there we go now this row of course you'll be going in and doing your single crochet and chain one and now you're going to just be putting one double crochet in each stitch around so last row row five was the last of the increases so from row six to row 14 for nine rounds total you'll be alternating each color just like you you were doing and just putting one double crochet worked in, in that uh, back stitch behind the stitch all the way around for nine rounds and then I will show you how to um, make your rim of your hat okay I just got done with row five, uh, 14 and this is where I am on my hat if the top kind of looks like this where it's kind of uh, you know squared off a little bit minus two it uh, will change when you put the hat on and it fits good it'll look just fine so like I said I just got done with round 14 and I slip stitched in the beginning stitch and changed my color to my next color that I need and just get a little closer 
Now we're ready to start making the rim of the hat. And the rim consists of only two rows. I want the look of this uh, all the way to the end of the hat. So what I did is you want a single crochet, whoops, not over the last color. You want a single crochet in the same back stitches you were using before in the next eight stitches. So the first stitch and then count over until you have a total of eight single crochets. I have one, two, three, four, five. So this is six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight single crochets worked in that uh, back stitch you've been using this whole time, then you want to do two stitches together. So you're going to make a decrease. And again, you're going to be going through that back stitch. So go into the first back stitch and pull up a loop. Then find the next back stitch behind the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook. And then you will just pull through all three loops. And then you're going to repeat that for the rest of the round. Single crochet again in the next eight back stitches that we were working in before. And then you will do a single crochet decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then again, go into one stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops. Continue that all the way around until you get back up to the beginning stitch which you'll slip stitch into as usual and change colors. And you should also have 52 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, at the end of row uh, 15, the last two stitches of the round are decrease. And then you just slip stitch in the last stitch and then switch colors. Now for round 16, which is the very last round, you're going to single crochet as normal in each stitch around. So you're not going to uh, go in the back stitches. You're just going and to at the end of this last round. You should have 52 stitches as well. Remember, just make these regular single crochet all the way around. Don't go into the back stitches. And I'll see you back here okay, in a moment. When you get to the end of your row, slip stitch in the beginning stitch, chain one, and cut your yarn. And that will create the knot here in the end. Cut all of your uh, tails, leaving just a little bit of a tail here that you can work in with the tapestry needle. Then what I do is I turn it around and I get these other two colors that um, didn't get a knot tied, and I just tie a knot. Tie a couple of knots here, that way they won't come undone. Just like that, and then you can work them in their uh, colors to hide them. And that's it. Back up just a bit. There we go. So that has been the tutorial to show you how to make this ripple wave beanie. And I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, this hat should fit, uh, like I said before, it should fit uh, from kids that are three years old to adults. It stretches. If you feel like you need to make more rows so that it goes over the ears, feel free or even make less rows. So uh, if you're making it for a small kid, uh, make a few less rows, it's very adjustable. And another cool thing you can do is if you wanna make it a soft chat, you can just keep adding more and more rows once you get done um, with row five, which is the last of the increase. So six through 14 is just a recommendation. Like I said, if you wanna make the beanie shorter or longer, you can, and to make it a soft chat, you can make another um, 10 rows or so and see if that's nice, uh, has a nice slouch in it and you can make a slouch out of this pattern. You can make a slouch hat out of any beanie powder very easily. But just increasing what's called the tunnel of the hat, which is just that part where you just keep going and going until you're ready to end it. So that's it. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you guys watching and please like, like this video and you can like me on Facebook too and check, uh, check me out there. 
and thank you so much for sharing my videos and if you haven't subscribed yet please take a moment to do that too uh, thank you guys so much for watching